morning, today is Saturday, and I've joined the Young Partner School uh, boot camp, and I'm so excited now. Can't wait to meet you guys at ICC. Young Founder School is a startup boot camp for high school students. So we have our core boot camp, which is the two day weekend program, and then we have an on ramp program, which we call Ideation. Initially, I heard about Young Founder School from our teachers at school, and out of curiosity, I signed up because I do want to study business in the future. This is going to help me a lot. In my job at Credit Suisse, we realized that the people that were really successful that we were hiring were actually those with an entrepreneurial mindset. Firstly, I wanted to improve my speaking skills and like also learn about entrepreneurship and how to become a successful one. So I think that's what drove me to come here. To me, Asia is the hotbed of entrepreneurship. But there are some issues in the way that we teach and raise our kids in that we still do not have a culture of failure. We don't embrace it, we don't encourage it. It's still seen as a shameful thing. The other thing is, is creativity. I feel like the students that we have are full of creativity and when they become adults, that somehow gets beaten out of them. So we want to get them early to encourage you, to nurture them. It was really fun creating the idea and problem solving because we'd always occur like a bump where we'd have to suddenly think of a solution and how we can come up with ideas to try and make it something real. These guys are thinking about the real world. They're thinking beyond their age, which is really, really impressive. And the structure that Billy and Crispian have put together, you don't find that just anywhere else. So the structure is extremely high quality. We're going to make an app for teachers, experts, professionals to provide lectures on different unconventional subjects and also soft skills. So I only met my two team members yesterday and one of them's from a local school and the other one's from Shatton College and if I hadn't done this program I would have definitely never met them. Our boot camps offer everyone. What we found is that the international schools took to the entrepreneurship education that we gave much more readily. But today we have about a 50-50 mix of local and international schools, which we're very proud of. What Young Founders School is doing is really important. The mainstream education, we learn English and math, but what we didn't learn, critical thinking, strategy, this business skills is absolutely crucial later on in their career. And I think Young Founders School fulfill this gap. A key part of what we do is the ability to expose students to these mentors, the kind of caliber of people that we get. And that's because there are almost no opportunities for students really to have those kind of one-to-one -one conversations over a period of about 10 hours actually in our weekends where they're inspired, they get feedback, uh, they get to really speak to someone who's been there and done that. The mentors, all amazing people, CEOs, from all over Hong Kong. These are like real entrepreneurs using their real life experience to share with us and it's a very rare opportunity. The best businesses that are started are started because you are really passionate about a problem and I think the best advice that I gave them was really thinking about if they were making something relevant and something that people actually want. And for me, as an entrepreneur in Hong Kong, I am very passionate about showing this next generation that, that it is possible to take a risk and build a company. It is possible as a career path, as a life path. These guys are going to drive growth for Hong Kong in the future. And if we don't educate young people in the opportunities of entrepreneurship, which have never been bigger, then we're not really fulfilling the needs of their education. So I've been very impressed by how much our young founders were able to achieve in the past two days. My team started with having pretty much nothing. Some sentences on the piece of paper. But at this very point, so they finished their presentation, they designed their logo using Photoshop, they did a wireframe, they have this business model, and they are preparing for their pitch. So I'm very impressed with my team equally with every other team over there. We have now around 20 minutes till we're doing our pitch and now we're going to practice. Yay!
everyone. We are the proud founders of Lit Learner. At the beginning of every year, I always set myself some goals, whether it's being a better student or being a better person. What is the problem? The problem that we are facing is that there are lots of companies with limited visibility. The highlight of this weekend has been pretty much everything. From yesterday morning when we started having talks about how you just start up your business to like tonight, like pitching it. I think you set out the problem uh, very, very well established. Congratulations on that. So moving on to market size, as you can see the TAM and the SAM, it is a great number. This is the mock-up of our app. Here are the major competitors. I want to know, are you able to get your own pricing for less than retail? Because I want to know where your profitability would come from. I think that just seeing the quality of the presentations today and what everyone has put together, it's like very seamless and like this isn't something you can just do um, without having the network and the skills and the passion to do so. So I would definitely recommend it. This is actually really inspiring. My advice to young people who are interested in entrepreneurship is go online, apply to Young Founder School and come and experience our boot camp because it really is something very, very unique. I would recommend this bootcamp because it gets really fun as soon as we start to apply the knowledge. The market size addressable for this is 91,000 people in Hong Kong. My highlight of the weekend is how to write a pitch deck and how to start up a startup successfully. This really was an eye-opener for me. I learned a lot of new things. I learned that the more mistakes you make, the more you learn. So this was a really valuable experience for me. So I'm really grateful. All great entrepreneurs, all great businesses have learned from their failures. Even if you fail, that's going to be your biggest lesson. So next time you know what to avoid and how to do it better, but follow your passion. Go for it. The winner, Team Six Ace. I'm very hopeful for the future of the planet. The kids that I meet every single day through Young Founders are some of the most inspiring, smart, intelligent, funny individuals that I meet anywhere in the world. I think if we can give them a little bit of freedom to unleash their creativity and be interested in the ideas that they have, you'll be amazed at the things that they can achieve.